For 31 years, Mike Bain was the pharmacist in Castor, Alberta, a town of approximately 1,000 people, two and a half hours southeast of Edmonton. It's really rewarding to know so many people and to uh, be part of their lives. So it's, it's really rewarding, but uh, it also has its challenges in that uh, everyone knows everyone. Mike practiced in what had been the Castor Drugstore built in 1921 from 1977 to 1986 before changing locations, but he still owned the original space. In 2010, Mike and his wife Wendy turned the space into a pharmacy museum as a tribute to his dad, who owned the store from 1946 to 1977. There's really only five or six pieces that were really original to the store, the dispensing table, the desk, uh, the green shelves, the Waterman cases. But then we went out uh, and looked at antique stores and we started uh, finding cabinets here and there. Mostly they have come from other pharmacies who have been really, really good to us. Uh, oftentimes we find pharmacists or their families have a lot of product. They don't want to throw it out. They don't want to see it on eBay and they'd like a home for it. This little unit here would have been put into a drugstore as a sales device from, in this case, Sunbeam Shave Master. And when the customer came into the store, they would pull out the razor and they could try it and, and shave with the razor. And if they liked the product and it felt good, then they could purchase one. The nice thing I think about the museum is that you could pick this up and drop it into any small town and it would be very much like the, the store that they would have had in their history. When the museum opened on Castor's 100th birthday, 1,000 visitors came through the doors. Now about 200 curious folks visit each year and they come from all over, including the United States and Europe. They're a little bit blown away by the type of display and the amount, and they're, they're surprised that this is in Castor, Alberta. The elderly really appreciate because there's so many memories for them. And the museum is not just about pharmacy, uh, it's about the drugstore from the past. So they look through and they remember products that they used, They'll remember products that their grandmother used. We have a small display here where we're showing of poison bottles. Uh, poison bottles were interesting because they were often different colors and they also would have a texture to the bottle, uh, either lines or dots on it, so that if you picked it up it felt different. To recognize Mike's work, the Alberta College of Pharmacists is presenting him with a lifetime membership award. That was uh, just a complete shock to me um, because uh, while I have a lot of pride in what I do here, you wonder if people recognize the effort that you put into to it. So I, I was uh, like, I was overwhelmed. The Castor Pharmacy Museum was a way for Mike to give back to the profession and the community that gave him so much. And with the museum always expanding, the giving hasn't stopped, and it seems won't stop anytime soon.